What's going on YouTube? Technical Nerd 91 here coming to you from my MacBook Pro. This is a rather late but quick video on how to set up a virtual machine within Oracle VirtualBox. Now you can go and I'll leave the description. I'll leave a, a link in the description. You can go and download it for free off of the VirtualBox website and there's a few things you'll need. Uh, one thing will be the extension pack and it should prompt you to download the extension pack when you go to set up a new virtual machine. However, sometimes it doesn't do this so you can also head over to the Oracle VM VirtualBox website and download your extension pack for all of your USB connections and port connections. This is essential to what you will need to run a full functioning virtual machine. So we're going to go ahead and get started um, to create a new or set up a new virtual box image. So I'm going to go ahead and click on new. It's going to prompt me through a setup guide, relatively easy, but for those who haven't ever used virtual box in their life or any other virtual machine software, this is perfect for you. Um, I'm going to show you all the necessary steps to set up a new virtual machine. So we're going to go ahead and click continue. We're going to put in our virtual machine name and operating system type or OS type. So for demonstrational purposes, I'm going to go with the all-time free and legal Linux. My distribution is Mandriva, and I'm going to go ahead and name that Mandriva now. So it's going to automatically allocate my operating system. If you are Windows 98, 2000 or below, it may or may not allocate it and automatically select the OS type for you. But since I typed in Mandriva, there's a keyword and it automatically chooses my operating system and my version. I'm going to head, go ahead and click continue. This is where you select your RAM quite simple memory. Um, this is really a simple process, but I decided to guide you through it. For all demonstration purposes, I'm going to, all, I'm going to allocate a gig of RAM, which Mandriva will run fine on. Now, there's a few options here. You can choose an existing disk if you choose to overwrite a virtual machine, an existing virtual machine. But since this is my first virtual machine, I'm going to click I'm going to select create new hard disk and startup disk will be selected also. So I'm going to go ahead and click continue and what you want is virtual disk image or virtual box disk image. That will give you the virtual hard drive that you're going to select. Continue and you want to hit dynamically allocated. A fixed size will be something for it more so for Windows or a higher-end operating system. But dynamically allocated means that your hard drive will continue to grow as much of, with as much data you put on that virtual disk image. Meaning, the more data you put on the disk image, the more it's going to allocate itself into a bigger disk image. If that makes sense. I kind of probably said it both time, or probably said it over again, but And this is where I select my hard drive size. And it goes from 4 megabytes to 2 terabytes. And here you can actually click, you can actually customize it. So if I want 100 gigs, I'm going to do 100.00 space GB. Hit continue. Hit create. Create again. It'll give you all your details. Now here's where things get interesting. What I want to do is I want to actually go in, click on Mandriva, it's powered off. I want to go to the settings. This allows you to add in all your general settings. So I want to, everything here is fine. I have my name of my virtual image, it's Mandriva. Linux and Mandriva are selected. These are just uh, some advanced options, a description of what the virtual image is. Um, this is where things get more complicated. Uh, you have your 
motherboard processor and acceleration option. Now I've already adjusted my RAM to what I want, so that's fine. I want to unclick floppy since we don't need that. And I want to go over to, now I want to go over to my processor. And you have the choice of going from one processor to eight. And your execution cap will limit the amount of time each virtual CPU is allowed to run for. Hence, if you give it 100% the virtual machine will never shut down. My display options, I want to go ahead, since I'm on a Mac Pro, I want to go ahead and enable 3D acceleration. So I've done that. The remote display is just to another display as well, but since I'm only on a MacBook Pro and I don't need the extra display, I'm going to leave that blank. So I want to go over to storage, make sure everything's okay. Audio is your core audio driver within the Mac Pro, so you don't have to do anything here. Your network is the same. Um, this enables you to stream your wireless network from your Mac Pro into the virtual machine. Hence, you have network access when you are connected to your virtual machine. Here's where uh, you need the extension path for. Any serial ports or any USB ports that you want, you have to have the extension pack installed to use. Don't ask me why, I don't know why they just wouldn't build it into the operating system, but that's the way they designed it, and it's free. So, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, the extension pack is only about 150 megabytes, not even, so it's very small, um, so you won't really have to worry. Uh, basically, you want to enable your USB 2.0 EHCI controller, and you want to add USB devices, Apple Inc. internal keyboard trackpad, that's your drivers for that, your Bluetooth USB host controller driver for that, and your IR receiver, we need the driver for that, and your Apple Inc. FaceTime HD built-in camera that will enable you to use your webcam from a Windows distribution. So now that that's done, if you want to enable shared folders between your actual machine and your virtual machine, this is where you would do it. This is where you would select it and add it, but for all intents and purposes, since this is a demonstration, I'm not going to go ahead and add it. I'm just going to keep it the way it is, and we're going to start the new Mandriva virtual disk image. So it's going to run me through a first time wizard. I'm going to hit continue. And this is where you select your installation media. If you have a hard copy of Windows you would like to install, go ahead and use your automatically selected disk drive that's built into your MacBook Pro. Or you can select where you downloaded. So right now I've only downloaded. Mandriva and Vista, but Vista is for a, another copy of my, um, for another laptop, sorry. So I'm going to go ahead and select Mandriva, like what I've been setting up for. I'm going to go ahead and, it'll change here, sorry. Um, it'll show you if you're successful in porting in your installation media um, at the media source. It'll show you your drive image and how big the image actually is. Continue, and it gives you the option to start. From here on in, you will continue with the setup process of your operating system and customize it for yourself. So this is just a quick uh, demonstration of virtual box image for the Mac Pro or the Mac operating system. It's really a quite simple program to use, um, but like I said, if it's your first time, then it is, can be difficult if you don't know what you're doing, um, and sometimes not successful. Anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, TechnicalNerd91. Um, add me as a friend, send me inboxes for general questions, and I will be happy to answer your questions. For anything Mac, more than happy to do a video on it if I get a video request. Anyways, thanks for watching YouTube.